Good day everyone, it's Emmy D from The Suburban Home. Today I'm going to show you how I transformed our 19 year old hand-me-down IKEA sofa with chalk style paint. Yep, you heard me, just paint. Now let's begin with the sofa transformation. But it looks like Rosie is not too keen on a DIY project today. The previous owners had this beautiful French toile fabric slipcover made for the sofa. And although I love the slipcover very much, I wanted the option of changing up my decor without spending a bundle. So the slipcover got washed and stored away for fall. So let's tackle what's lurking underneath. But before we proceed, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. Join me as I transform our Victorian style farmhouse in rural suburbia. I have many years experience painting fabric and you'll be surprised how easy it is. Keep in mind not all fabrics can be painted and different fabrics require different methods. So here's a list of tools you'll need. You'll need a paintbrush, a spray bottle with water, a jug of water, your chalk style paint, some finishing wax, a fine grit sandpaper block, a wax brush, and a microfiber cloth. Now that you've gathered all your supplies and tools, it's time to start painting your fabric. So the way this works is basically you're dyeing the fabric. Think tie-dye. Using the water is key. The more water you use, the better. The method that I prefer is spraying down my fabric, wetting my paintbrush in water, and then dipping it in paint. That is my preferred method. Some prefer watering down the paint in the paint can. You want your paint to be really watered down. This will prevent your fabric from getting too crunchy. People ask me all the time, how does the fabric feel after it's painted? I like to compare it to outdoor fabric or even like a, a soft leather. As you can see, I like to work in small sections at a time. This is time consuming, so I suggest you listen to a podcast, listen to your favorite music, or even listen to your favorite YouTuber while you paint. You want to make sure that every coat of paint is completely dry before proceeding with the next coat. You'll notice here on the backing of the sofa, there was a bleach stain and I was concerned that the, the paint wouldn't take, but there was no issues. Chalk paint is really like, I call it the miracle paint because it covers so many defects, so many materials, and uh, I just love working with chalk style paint.
This is what the sofa looks like with one coat of paint. Now on to the second coat. It's the same process. All right, here's my tip to remove the paint streaks made by your paintbrush and to make the fabric more supple. Use a fine grit sandpaper block and you're gonna rub the water and the paint combo into the fabric using the sanding block. I usually do circular motions and then smooth it out. My apologies for my camera work here. I was trying to do this demo using uh, just the one hand. So again, I'm applying a bit of water, a bit of paint, and then I'm rubbing everything in to the fabric with the sanding block. You wanna be gentle, don't apply too much pressure. So you'll see here the difference between the streaks and on the right here is where I use the sanding block. I usually do this method between the second and third coat of paint and I'll usually end my last coat of paint with this method as well. Once you're finished your painting project, you're going to want your sofa to sit there and let it cure for about 24 hours to 48 hours before we start waxing it. Waxing it will protect the paint. Without the wax protection, your sofa will mark really easily, especially if you used a dark color. And the wax helps the fabric feel softer to the touch. I applied any Sloan clear wax in circular motions using a wax brush. Then I buff it out using a microfiber cloth or any lint-free rag. Two coats of wax, 12 hours, apart let it cure for 48 hours before you sit your little tush on that sofa i don't know if you're like me but i love a good before and after especially when it's so inexpensive and it just changes the look of the room if you liked this video and enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up. I would love to hear in the comments if you enjoyed this transformation. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.